Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last one, we set up this web progress macro. So now um, what we're going to do is create a new variable. We're going to call this stat type. It's going to be of type e stats. Next, we want to create a variable called target percentage. This is going to be of type float and another called um, lerped percentage. Okay, so what we're going to do is on event construct, we want to, let's see, let's create a variable, it's going to be of type uh, the name is going to be BPC stats. So we're going to reference to our components. I'm going to search for BPC stats object reference. And let's get our BPC stats here. And we want to check if it is valid. So we'll convert this to a validated get. Connect this to our event construct. And we want to create a custom event here. This is going to be used later on. I'm going to call initialize and I'm going to set our BPC stats variable and plug this up as an input to the custom event. And from here, we want to also check if it's valid or not. So let's get our player character and then get component by class. And the component we want to get is our stats component, so BPC stats. And here is where we want to set the variable. So off of is not valid. We want to set the component variable here. Compile, save. Next, we want to, from this stats here, we want to bind that event to on current stat value updated. We also want to connect this to the is valid pin. Now uh, we need to create an event. So create event. Then what we need to do is get our stats component. And we want to say get current stat value. And we want to get the current stat value for whatever input stat type this is. And then we want to call a custom event. So we're gonna break, uh, select this here and create a matching event. And we're gonna call this on stat value update. Okay, give it some time. Okay, great. Save your work. So uh, we want to check. We want to call this custom event firstly. So on current stat value update. So we want to call it here. Plug this up right here. The value is going to be this, and the stat type is going to be the input of the, the variable stat type. And that is it for here. Uh, down here now, what we're gonna do is check if the stat type is equal, equal enum to the, the this stat type. So if it is equal to this stat type, then we can proceed. Uh, we want to check if the stats component again is valid. If it is valid, then we want to create a custom event. We want to call this set dynamic percentage.
and we want to call this event right here. Uh, this event is going to take in an input. Uh, so add an input to this event. It's going to be of type float. Uh, we want to name this incoming percent. Right, so I'm going to leave this down here for now. We'll get back to that in a bit. So for here, what we need to do is, after we check if this is valid, we need to get the stats components again, and we want to get the max stat value for the input of this event, which is stat type. And if it is, we want to divide it. So we're going to connect this to the second option here and return this value. And this value is going to be uh, the top value here. Right, so um, that's it for here. Let's move on. So we want to set the dynamic percentage. So the first thing we want to set is the target percentage. And then we want to get our uh, our PB front and call set percent. And that is the percentage that we are going to return. Then we want to get our progress bar for the back. And we want to get the percentage of that. So get percent. And we want to set this lurked percentage variable as the percentage of the back progress bar. Next, we want to use our lurk progress macro. And we will select our linear curve that we created in the first episode. And we want to set forward to true. And from here, uh, I forgot something. <laughs> I forgot something. Let's see. Um, we need to return a value here. So this value, this get uh, float value, we need to return that to the macro. I'm going to leave the name as return value. All right, so now from the return value here, we want to lurk. So let's get a lurk node, lurk float. And this is going to be our alpha. Now we want to lurk between the lurk to percentage and the target percentage. And then we want to get our back progress bar, and we want to call set percent. Connect this here, and connect this here. And that is it for the widget. Yeah, I know it was a lot. So I'm going to delete this event because we won't be using it. And that is it for here. So now we need to open the main HUD. I'm going to add a canvas panel to this. Uh, next, we want to head down to user creative and we're going to add in one of our stat bars. I'm going to right click on the stat bar, wrap width and a vertical box. I'm going to duplicate the stat bar and uh, select the vertical box and select size to content. I'm going to set the anchors to the bottom left. We set this set the alignment to 0.5 on the X and 0.5 on the Y. I'm going to set the position on the Y to minus 200, no, minus 150. And on the X, we're going to set this to 200, 250, 300. Yeah, 300 is good. Now let's select our two stack bars here and set the padding to five. Right, um, the stack bar. This one, we're going to name this health, and this one we're going to call it stamina. Um, let's head back to our WB stat bar uh, widget here and click on the stat type and set it to instance editable. I don't think you will need expose spawn, you 
let's check real quick yeah so just instance editable and i'm gonna select the stat type on this one to be health and the stat type on this one to be stamina now uh in just for testing let's open our player character we're not gonna leave this here this is just for testing create a begin play node and we want to say create widget and the widget that we want to create is the main hud and we want to just want to say add to viewport we're not going to do any checks or anything like that compile and save if i play you should see the two stat bars on the screen right so you can see there's two stat bars on the screen but we're getting some errors so bpc stats find event to one current stat value updated trying to read bpc stats and that is because we did not add the stats component to our player character so let's add bpc stats compile save now we shouldn't have any errors when we quit the game um, i'm not sure if you saw that but i can show you it on a larger screen here so as you can see the two stat bars are added to the screen but there is nothing in them so in our third person character when we select our bpc stats um under the base stats variable here which reminds me we need to uh, set some of these to private so the current stat we can set it private this can also be private everything else but the base stats can be private so this way when we select it in our third person character you don't see anything else other than our base stats so we're gonna add uh, we're gonna add one here we'll call this health select health the value is gonna be 100 and 100 then we want to add another one for our stamina we're gonna do the same thing value is 100 and 100 Hit compile and save if I play now you can see our stat bars are full so in the next one I'll show you how to uh, select different colors based on your stat bars and all of that good stuff but for now let's set up a basic uh, debugging to test if our character can take damage or not so I want to set it on the E key I'm gonna get our BPC stats component here and we want to call uh, receive damage and the incoming damage we want to take away is let's say 20 so every time we hit E it will we will uh, deal 20 damage so as you can see and it's lurping pretty fine and nothing else is happening so the character can die so let's in the event section as you can see we have a on current stat value updated event here we're gonna click on that we're gonna bring this here and from our bpc stats uh, we want to call apply death Mm, is it apply death? It's, is it? Oh yeah, it is. But uh, we don't have anything set here. So yeah, and that's how you use the stat component. So this is it for the stats component, guys. In the next one, we'll uh, create some new stuff. So we'll start with the cleaning up our locomotion system. And uh, then we will create our weapon class and whatnot so yeah see you in the next one guys